I'd like to thank everybody for coming out on this cool, dreary morning. Um, we also need to again thank everybody for their continued support, prayers, and understanding with Chelsea's disappearance and trying to bring her home. Um, we need to stress that this is a very active and open case. It has never been considered cold. Monroe County Sheriff's Office and the Detective Bureau have been working since day one. We also need people to remember and understand that as the weather continues to improve, um, the police will be more visible because people are gonna be out and they're gonna see them easier. Um, if you see the police, whether it's our please remember to be respectful. Um, they need their space, they need to do their jobs. Um, it doesn't help when somebody sees them, calls the media, Facebooks, everybody they know, and then there's a crowd. Um, if the police are on a planned search or following up on a tip, no matter how big or small, a crowd showing up may ruin evidence, cause a distraction, and cause the detectives and the other police force to overlook something something that could be crucial or so important. We are in daily contact with our detectives. Um, there are not enough hours in their day or our day for them to cover every little detail with us. So they're not gonna contact the general public and let them know what those details are. If you think you know something that is important or have found something, please don't touch it, don't move it, don't call your friends, please contact the detectives. Their number is 734-240-7530 or call 911. You can also email them at tell, tell the sheriff at monroemi.org. We need to stress so importantly that this is our lives, not a police show, not a detective show. This is our reality and it's not like TV. Please put yourself in our shoes. How would you feel if it were your daughter, your sister, sister-in-law, granddaughter, cousin, niece, or your friend? Think about that. We don't want people to stop talking about Chelsea, reporting about Chelsea. As soon as we quit talking about her, we don't have you guys out to broadcast something. People think she's been found. But please go back to that respect of people needing to do their jobs, which at this point is our detectives, and bringing her home. We need people to think about what you say. Think about, is this going to help or is this going to be harmful? And if the answer is yes or maybe, please don't say it. Keep it to yourself. Well, oh, that's exactly a good question. responded to a report of clothing. It's in the lab. We don't know yet if it belonged to Chelsea. So they're hoping to pick up some DNA. I don't know how long those lab results take to come in. And of course it turned into an all out frenzy. But, you know, as TIPS comes in, they will be out. They may have other planned searches as the weather continues to improve. Areas that have been searched already. Just like Point Moye. Point Moye was searched three different times last fall by us and by the detectives, but with the growth last fall, they wanted to be sure that nothing was overlooked. How do you maintain such a patience? 
because I am not in the driver's seat in all this. I don't want to sound like I'm preaching, but my good Lord is in my driver's seat. I can't even begin to explain my faith and my belief in him, but it's there to think otherwise when other people think otherwise. That's darkness, that's negativity, and that's the devil, and I will not let that darkness in. My world stands in the light and the hope, and it's so important because it's important to everybody. Did they talk to you at all about the uh, pattern of material that was gathered? No. Describe it in way? No, no. No, someone was out there and called it in. So if you're hearing things, people are speculating. You know, they want to look like the first person to say something hoping that they're saying something important and it grows from there. What is it like to be knowing so many people here, people in the frame for you all the community to come out and try to support? Uh, do you want to say anything to those people in the frame to support you all for this? Thank you. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Continue and just remember, positive energy will triumph always. Um, we've said before from the beginning, we've lived in this community our whole lives. Um, it's a small community, the whole county. It's very humbling, but we, we wouldn't expect anything else. Anything else you want to share or say? Um, just thank you. Um, it's, I always get the question, um, you know, well, I received it the last couple of days, like, how does this make you feel that this, you know, something of hers could be found? And it was amazing to get that call, but then at the same time, you want to not get your hopes up and you want to kind of down, maybe it's not, but it, it could not be. But it's actually amazing. In five months, we we have had nothing, and everyone has always been. There's nothing. There's really nothing. And um, so, if the DNA comes back and it was hers, it's our first break in the case. Our first something. So it's actually kind of awesome. Also, remember, no news is better than bad news. I also want to state Facebook can be a good tool. We don't know everybody. Everybody here has family and friends that we don't know. So yeah, please continue to share that on Facebook and spread it. And people may not realize this, there are 4,800 people missing in the state of Michigan alone. You multiply that by our 50 states, and then think of the states that are huge in population compared to Michigan. That's scary. That could be any one of us. And gentlemen, there are just as many men missing as there are women. And it's not young women, it's of all ages and men of all ages. So don't think because of your gender, you're safe. And I don't want to make people paranoid, but just be cautious. I don't want to be out here searching for somebody I know. <laughs> Which we already are. Which, you know. <laughs> Somebody that I've met through this, I should say. <laughs> Any other questions? Any other questions? Have you, do you work in your head about what might have happened and try to avoid that? <laughs> um, I can tell from just me, yesterday was really hard. Um, just seeing pictures, um, I had to I had to get off the news yesterday, but seeing pictures of um, the place where the clothing was found, that was horrible to see. And then immediately, scenarios go through your mind. So um, yeah, you you have to just not do that as much as possible. Um, but yeah, you do. You imagine every scenario and.
Well, you also think back to the day she went to that party and, you know, at 3 o'clock on that Saturday, she didn't even know if she was going to that party. Chelsea didn't drive. She didn't have a ride. The person she was going to go with ended up working. So I've gone back and, you know, well, why don't you just, thinking, why didn't I just say, well, why don't you stay home? There'll be other parties or, you know, any multitude of possibilities. You know, and it just, you know, can't beat yourself up over life. She was an adult. Even if a parent stresses, please stay home, please don't go, they're not necessarily going to do that. Anybody else?